Hi guys and welcome back to episode 14 of the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns League 1. As you can see the team in front of you, we do have Falcao in the ranks now as well as Mutino, Matuidi and Lebezzi. So a very solid team going forward. And we're going to start replacing the um, the centre-backs now. Because in the last episode you will have seen me moan about uh, how outpaced they were getting. And Mark Rinos could be a decent upgrade. So he's the one we're going to go for first. If you guys want the ultimate team coins, do buy players you see in the team or even on the bench. Make sure you check out battlea.com and use discount code B and to get 5% off your ultimate team coins. If you need any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, make sure you check out G2A.com as well. Their link is also there. And if we can smash over 3,000 likes, guys, that'll be awesome. So we are playing a Serie A team, Balotelli and Ibarbo. Up front, very, very dangerous. But like I've been saying all week, sweaty goals happen. And unfortunately, we can't do anything about it. And uh, we do score from a corner, giving us an early lead. Now, guys... In the community, most of you guys who do watch my videos are into wager matches and are interested in doing them. There is a new, well, quite a, a, it's a pretty established website now called the Gamer Saloon. There is a link down below to it where I will be working with them to move my wager matches on to their site. So all the wager matches I'll be doing on my Road to Glory Wager Showdowns will be organised via that site. But not only will they be doing just uh, what I'm doing now, which is the one-off wagers, they'll also be doing foot tournaments in the future as well so if you guys want to go and check out that website get uh, get used to it it's a lot like virgin uh, virgin game the way virgin gaming is with the head-to-head -head, but this uh, relates to ultimate team as well so it could interest a few of you guys as well so that links down below make sure you do go and check it out and uh, tell them that you, you you come from me as well because uh, it's a site I'm going to be using in the future to organize my wages because we do know that there's a lot of shit on Twitter where scamming is involved etc etc at least this is trustworthy uh, website we can all get our teeth into so a 4-1 win in the first game does give us an upgrade of Marcinos and we're going to go for the instant upgrade of him as well and go for Thiago Silva even though a lot of people were wondering why we took Thiago Silva out in uh, one of the episodes last week and that is because when you upgrade to an inform you basically sorted and uh, Thiago Silva needs to be entered back into the team at another point so if we ever go for an upgrade of Thiago Silva it will only be for his team the year version or inform Alex because that is a team we're going for unless some team the season related does pop out and catch our eye and uh, maybe want to add him into the team in the future so the team we come against now is a very nice looking uh, well BPL BBVA hybrid isn't it? Yeah, it's, it looks alright I don't know if it's full chemistry or it might be full chemistry uh, there's a few players not uh, in the right position as well so starting off from corners Falcao with the best header on the game does manage to make it 1-0 and then yet again we do cross it into Ibrahimovic who makes it 2-0 now this game was against Castro a lot of you if you do follow the Twitch community will know who Castro is he did a uh, I think it was a 61 hour live stream for charity as well made a lot of money and uh, a lot of respect to that guy as well he's a very nice guy definitely check out his streams as well Castro 1021 I may be incorrect with the numbers but make sure you do have a search for him on, Twi on uh, Twitch he is streaming most of the time so we do uh, dick him in his first game uh, on Xbox his first competitive game for 20,000 coins and that does give us the upgrade of Thiago Silva into the team so, with that said, we are now going to finish off the defence and go for an upgrade of Marquinhos again on the left-hand side. This will sort us out uh, with some decent uh, centre-backs and leave us with one silver player left in the team. Now, also guys, we will be moving towards the informs pretty soon. As you can tell, we have a lot of lock-ins there. It's only really the silver players now which need upgrade and then we're going to go for informs. So you guys need to let me know in the comment section below who we should go for inform-wise. Like, as you can see, that guy, he's got second inform, James Rodgers. Rodriguez, I think, uh, can maybe even the first in form. Um, and he does have a few decent League One players in there. But thankfully, we were able to break through 4 3 3 formation quite early on, which makes a change actually because uh, that formation formation usually does rate 3 5 2 apart. But I have noticed that a lot of people rock 4 3 3, and that's a formation I need to get used to fast to make it competitive. Now, it does take until uh, past the 20 minutes to continue pushing on that door and yet again look what it is a corner with Ibrahimovic out jumping our defender and putting it into the back of the net making it 2-0 
So now we can have a little bit of fun. Uh, Falcao with his tidy little shimmy in and knocks it to the outside, slotting it into the far corner. Uh, still in the victory, really, on the 27th minute. This guy didn't feel like he was going to come back. But all of a sudden, uh, just before, um, just after half time, after we scored this goal with Jean Moutinho into the top corner, he does start to put on the pressure and shut out the game, which was quite surprising. Surprising he never did it earlier, to be honest, because uh, he was getting dicked. He was leaving massive gaps. But he does manage to pull it back after my controller dies. I'm just standing there and can't defend the back post header to make it 4-1 but the game uh, still had one more goal to go and this is the goal uh, he does score to make it 4-2 in the 90th minute unfortunately it was too little too late for him and uh, we do get the final upgrade of today so that's been nine games this week so far and nine wins pretty decent uh, uh, wager series so far we're back tomorrow night at 9.30 for a decent team of the year wager so make sure you guys do come and check that out subscribe for more awesome FIFA 14 content like, drop a like try and smash over 3,000 likes and um comment in the section below about what I've been asking and also check out the Gamer Saloon, there is a link down below. So thanks very much for watching, until next time guys, see you all later, have a very nice day.